to work. Time to get to work. So a little bit of a writing update. If you guys have been following me on other platforms, you may know that I've been writing my first novel, a YA contemporary, for a little over a year. It's been on and off, um, but you know, it's coming together. Um, just here to tell you guys that I'm now on chapter 26. Had to look at my computer. <laughs> um, now I'm chapter 26, about 75k in, which isn't good because I still have a bit of the story to go. I was so close to the end. I was like, oh my god, I can feel it. But then I was like, oh, you know what? Subplot. So yeah, we have another subplot. And that means I've already been taking notes of everything I need to fix in the editing stage. But this is going to be a lot because I'm going to have to go through like change. Like chapter 26 could be like chapter 10. Like it's just not set where it needs to be set but i'm like writing it now um we're just gonna play around with sequence of events see what happens um that's the fun of pantsing you know you get to like change the story like it could start off as something else and then change into something new by the time you're ready to query it and stuff so yeah let's go ahead and dive deeper so this is where we are at we let's look at the stats here oop okay 251 pages, 75,000 words. Now, I want to go traditional publishing route, so that means <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to just get rid of huge chunks of story, um, which, you know, isn't great, but I'm in the drafting stage. I'm just going to have to go through it again. Once I'm editing, and I have a whole edit page up here. Here's some of the edits on my edit page where I'm just like, I've been taking, what's it called, notes the entire time. Just being like, you need to do this, you need to do that. Um, just reminders, I have three pages. Can you see? Now you can. I have like three pages of this. Um, some of it isn't accurate anymore because I'm not going to be putting all of it in the book. But yeah, I do have a bit of stuff here. So I wanted to show you guys that. And while I'm here, let me show you guys what I'm reading currently. Okay, let's hope I don't cover up the microphone by accident. Um, currently, I am reading Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nan? Nagan? I'm going to figure out how to say it. But I just have to say, this book. <laughs> okay, so I bought it in March. What did I buy it for? Um, I don't go to the bookstore a lot. It's usually, oop, my finger. But yeah, I picked this up because the cover is just so pretty. I picked this up because it was so pretty and I needed some pretty books. And literally, ooh, <laughs> this book the writing is so beautiful like i don't know i don't know i might be i don't i don't want to say i'm hyping it but really okay so i'm on chapter 21 page 2 15 and 14 and i just have to say like this stuff is just like so good like oh my god um i'm gonna be doing like a full review on it of course um i don't know if i'll wait until after i finish it or not but i totally recommend picking this up ignore my nails <laughs> they are so bad i totally recommend picking this up because it is just so good and i love how i don't want to okay all i'm gonna say is <laughs> There's some books that make it seem okay for people to be treating other people badly, and I just love how that isn't happening here, and I'm 215 pages in, so I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, so yeah, I really like this book, and I've just been reading a lot. I used to be against reading while drafting, but I'm like, you know what? I don't want to draft all the time. I want to be able to enjoy myself, so yeah, I'm reading this, and it's kind of a reminder of 
this is what a published book looks like, not this. So after a little bit of a detour, I getting back to writing now. Um I, I didn't even choose to take the detour. My sister was rude to me and then well no, my dad and then my sister. Let me explain. So I was there, minding my business. I I swear I was writing as I do. In fact the last word I wrote was ears <laughs> and um, my dad came in he's always walking into my room I had it locked but he still came in and uh, he said oh you did good today you clean up your room a little bit and I was like yeah and then he looked and found the box on the dresser and he went and I ain't gonna lie, it hurt my feelings. <laughs> and so I tweeted about it, as I do, like most teenagers do. We're dramatic. We go to Twitter about everything. Five minutes later, I kid you not, my older sister, Mort, messages me. <laughs> sister, <laughs> are you joking, sister? Do I need to give you interior designing lessons, sister? She came for my neck my neck, and my double chin. And at that point, I was feeling pretty down about myself. Because <laughs> I thought it was a good idea. <laughs> and I don't really know what to do. <laughs> all I know is that I have writing. And that's all I have. Because <laughs> when I messaged my younger sister, the one I've taken care of all my life, she sided with Mort. So, fuck Mort, fuck King Julian. <laughs> I know I'm laughing, but it's to hide the hurt. I, if you look in my eyes, uh, they're kind of wet. Wow. <laughs> so yes, stream dynamite by BTS. <laughs>